Data can be displayed graphically without charts by using spark lines and data bars. They are useful when you don't want charts to overwhelm your worksheet or to take up valuable paid space. A spark line is a graphic that is displayed entirely within a worksheet cell. Because spark lines are compact in size, they don't include chart elements, such as legends, titles, or grid lines. You can create the following types of spark lines in Excel. Line, column, win loss. Let's take a look. I want to insert spark lines, but I just want to see it for totals. So on my insert tab, I'm going to click on, I think I want a column. And what is the data range? I'm just going to do B7 through F7, so my totals. And where do I want that to appear? I want it to be in G7. Whoops, let me get rid of that G15. That's where my cursor was, that G7 and OK. And there's my spark line. So now I can easily see, I have a visual representation of the highs and lows of my total cells with my salespeople within the different regions. I could also have done this entire data range. If I select this data range, and let's do, I'm going to go to insert again, I'll do a column again, just to remain consistent, um, B3 through F6, and my location range is going to be G3 through G6, and OK. And so again, I have my graphical representation within a, a single cell or a range of cells. With the spark line selected, I can make some modifications. So I do have, when it's selected, I have an additional design tab. And I can change a few things. I can change the spark line color. I can give it a style, the marker color, add first point, last point, high point. And actually, with that color scheme, you can't see a whole lot there. Um, and I can change it to a line if I want to see what that looks like, back to a column, or win loss. So if I had some negative numbers in here, let me just turn one of these, one of these negative, then you can see that it drops below the baseline there. So if I were representing positive numbers and negative numbers, then I could use the win loss spark line. Let's talk about data bars now. So a data bar is a conditional format that adds a horizontal bar to the background of a cell containing a number. When applied to a range of cells, the data bars have the same appearance as a bar chart with each cell containing one bar. Data bars differ from spark lines in that the bars are always placed in the cells containing the value they represent, and each cell represents only a single bar from the bar chart. Let's take a look at adding data bars instead of spark lines. So I'm going to go ahead and clear, clear all, clear those spark lines, and I want to add data bars. And again, I'm going to start out with just doing it for the totals, and I'm going to un negative that. There we go. Select this range. On my home tab, remember it's a conditional formatting, data bars. And then I can pick any color I want here, kind of like these down here. Let's pick orange. So you can see that it is within the cell itself. It's a background to that cell. If I go ahead and select the range, um, this data range up here, select some data bars, you get a better representation of what that looks like. To modify data bars, it's a little different than we did with spark lines. So I want to modify this range here with the blue data bars. I'm going to select that range, come back up to my conditional formatting, manage rules, select the rule that I have because I could potentially have more than one um, within a workbook or a worksheet. Edit that rule and then this is where I'm going to make my edits. Now, by default, it's looking at a minimum and maximum value, but I could change that to a percentage, formula, just different values, and I can also change the colors. Okay, so that is spark lines and data bars. Hi, I'm Nikki. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel, and I think you're going to like this next video coming up. Remember, we never stop learning. I'll see you in the next video.